Charlie, Charlie, come look at this. I think these people thought they were going to see the balloon straight away. Are you kidding? <laughs> we have not drove 12,000 miles for you to see it like that. Mm -mm. Just kidding. But seriously, we're going to show you around Cappadocia first and then we'll take you on the hot air balloon. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Just in case you forgot though, I'm Morgs. I'm Sha. And together we are out here living. Woo! We settled in early and even then we weren't expecting what was to come the next morning. So this is our first morning watching the balloons. <laughs> Absolutely crazy to see, like they are huge. <laughs> they're like we got up at 5 a.m. but there were people that were already here. Yeah. Like so we need to get up earlier and the sunrise was just beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool. Life's best experiences. Do it. Like the the whole trip, we've been really looking forward to this moment, and really sort of proud of us that we've got here. Aren't we? Probably like the thing that we wanted to see the most. It is just amazing. Yeah. Like they're all expectations. And like, there's so many people just sharing it all and looking at them. Mm. Really proud of us. Number two, we woke up at 4.30 a.m. Packed in a different spot this time. So Maggie is literally surrounded by balloons. Move Maggie, balloons coming through. I'm definitely going for a nap after this. People would pay an absolute fortune at a hotel to have this view. We're just sat in Margie. Look at there. Now that is absolutely parked up. This is loving me. <laughs> Now today, we're going through a walk through a valley called Love Valley. Not really sure how it got its name though. But for the last couple of days, we've been parked up on the ridge at the top watching the balloons each morning. So I thought today we'd come and check them out. This gives new meaning to walking amongst giants. shapes that we're walking around in Love Valley. 
Some people call them fairy chimneys, mushrooms, or giant phalluses. And I think the locals call them castles. It was funny because someone may have just turned up to Love Valley and just been like, yep, yeah, they look like phalluses. And the locals have just been absolutely destroyed. I think what makes this place crazy as well is just the absolute scale of everything. Like we're down from the top when we were parked in the van. They didn't look that big. Well, like they look big, but not massive. Now that you're down beside them, everything is just huge. So the funny shape of all these mushrooms or whatever you like to call them. They were made and shaped across millions of years from like loads of volcanic eruptions and volcanic ash, which is madness. Um, so these have just been shaping across the years and now they look like this. Mountain goat back at it. <laughs> I thought bums and they thought We've made it to the end of the valley, which is about two and a half-ish k's in. So now it's time for us to cruise on back. Quick drink though, because it was cooking out here. Great hike to kick off exploring through like all the chimney bits with. It's not too long, it's like 5Ks. All free to do, kind of signposted, but you can go in and explore little bits that you want to explore and go off the track a little bit. Thumbs up for Love Valley. One thing about Cappadocia that's really cool is that basically you can freedom camp and some insane spots and the fun part is obviously trying to find all the different ones so sunrise is over here over this big hill i believe it's called rose valley we're still on the other side of love valley over there our uh, blew up the side where we were part the other day but they also float down into this area and land down there see how it goes eh morning number three <laughs> how are you feeling do you think this will ever get old? Or? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How could that get old? So more on the spot. So we're obviously overlooking Rose Valley, like I said yesterday. The good thing about this spot is you see way more of the balloons blowing up. So there's probably like, I don't know, like a good 50, 60 balloons blowing up over on our right here. Um, whereas over in Love Valley, there's only a couple. So I think it definitely adds a bit more bit more spice to it, you know? 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Balloons get you pumped. <laughs> he has too much energy. <laughs> but you want is marriage proposal city over here. We had two exact identical marriage proposals happening right beside each other this morning. So fellas, be warned. So the real question is coffee or nap? Bye. Nah. Yeah. Peace out. So this afternoon we're going to check out uh, the church and the historical house in a town called Chavishan, which is just across from Rose Valley where we've been staying. Um, kind of like an open eared house. So we'll go and check it out. It's absolutely roasting out here. And it's out of wear pants. Jesus. Made it to the old church, which is right behind where I'm standing. So this dates back to the first century and it's where all the Christian monks used to go to hide from all the Roman attacks. And then in the buildings to the side of it is the living quarters. Pretty incredible place and you can just walk and roam around freely. This guy heard Shah's been giving out Scooby Snacks. Come on then, we'll take it with us. <laughs> I should have bought the Scooby Snacks. You wouldn't want to fall down there. It is absolutely cooking out here. He's still following us. This picture is so cute. 
Nothing like a hot almachai to cool you down. We haven't found these since Istanbul, have we? It's like hot apple juice. So good. Well, that spot was really good and all for free. So if you don't want to pay and explore some cool stuff, do that. It started absolutely raining it. So we were like, oh, what should we do? as an indoor activity and we found that this whole underground city we're going to the k mackley one so there is another one beginning with d but this one apparently is more preserved i think it's 100 lira to get in and you can explore through tunnels and go see where the civilians went to go underground you in turkey was being sieged by the byzantines now it's open to the public for viewing so we'll go check it out and show you hey you come on come on governor come on so we're currently exploring the underground city, so we are in here. This place is awesome. Like, so much cooler in here as well, which is nice. Exactly what we were just talking about. <laughs> Work it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we do go this way. Yeah. Shall I go first? <laughs> yeah, I'm going first. Oh god. Well you have to really um work on your squats in here. Oh, come on then, don't leave me <laughs> don't leave me hanging. <laughs> you need good knees, guys. Good knees. We're in a good place because <laughs> we've made it to the best room in the city. So they were even smart enough to put in like oxygen ventilation vents. Like <laughs> you look like Colin. <laughs> I do not like being in here with heaps of other people. Reminds me a bit of the Flintstones. So they say that like 2,500 people lived in this underground city. I don't know how they did it. <laughs> Wants you to see these calves. We're <laughs> honoured. <laughs> Tell you what, we're getting steps in for the day. Putting these came later or what? <laughs> oh, so bright. <laughs> Morning number five. <laughs> we're actually on the balloons tomorrow. There's one just about to come up beside us. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that was close. That was crazy. So today we are going to do the Rose Valley hike which I think you can combine with the Red Valley hike, but we're not too sure, like it's a bit confusing. So we're gonna try and wing it, not get lost. We're just following the reed rocks. Are you coming with us? Can you show us the way? Because we don't know the way. How much, how much we talking, hmm? Now why, why this hike is awesome is because you get to go into these big churches along the way, like the ones we were in the other day. But we just get to go right inside of them and check them out. Going in. <laughs> what the hell? Look at the paintings on the wall. Martins. The one thing I have loved is that she like every hike we have done, we have had Poochies follow us. 
It's like they know. Like we just love poochies. Follow the leader, leader, leader. Follow the leader. Follow the leader, leader, leader. Follow the leader. Now, if you were the for the whole hike, you'll get heaps of Scooby Snacks at the end. So I think we've just adopted five poochies. <laughs> One, two. Oh no, we've lost some. They have a cafe with a much needed orange juice somewhere. 70 lira for medium. And this view. The chairs are so cute and there's like little cave houses. Cheers, bub. Cheers. We have just walked up these dodgy stairs. And now we're in here. I think this is why they call it Red Valley. <laughs> what? What? It just keeps going. That's it for the high team. Energy levels are depleted. Knackered. <laughs> Hungry. Want an ice lolly. But if you do want a hike in Cappadocia, do the Rose and Red Valley hike. It's insane. It is epic. Literally like you're walking through Mars. So. Let's go get an ice lolly. Morning team. Really early this morning. But exciting. Today's the day. We're finally going up on the balloons. I'm feeling very excited, very tired, but I think once we get on the balloon, it'll be good. They are cute! It's like a dragon breathing fire. <laughs> Let's go time. Oh, look at all of them. Come back now. <laughs> we are off the ground.
basket on the trolley. <laughs> Just tell us we get a middle and champagne. Good basket. Yeah, we twin on that shit. <laughs> I'm never taking this bad boy off. We got medals! <laughs> we can honestly say that was one of the best experiences in our life. If you ever find yourself in Turkey, make sure to go to Cappadocia to see the hot air balloons. And if you can, get in one. You won't regret it. Thanks again for watching. Hit that subscribe button now. And see you again next week. Today is the day we go back 12,000 years in time.